but even now, and you, you imagine if you said that ten years ago, I'm live streaming. You're doing what? You're doing what? You're in a stream? I mean, you know, very strange. Anyway, quick one is basically, um, yeah, it's going to be two cows talking to one, one another, and it's a joke I've made up. And um, so it's not really a cow joke at all. <laughs> it's cows, you know, just sort of chewing the cud. Ooh. You know, shooting the breeze. Just having a go, you know, talking to them there. Uh, like they do, because, you know, I imagine just chewing and pooping all the time is pretty monotonous. So, uh, they're just facing one another and one decides to tell the other one a joke. Ah, <sighs> dear. Oh, gosh, what a day I've had. I, there, there was a job um, where someone dropped out and uh, I was going to take over. And uh, day's notice and it was, I was getting myself all ready and then they cancelled it last minute. It's like, oh, for God's sake. Ah, <sighs> just, you yeah, know. Start thinking, right? Okay, I've got to take the dog for a walk right early. <laughs> Go through all these little sort of problems, and it never happens. But I was reading uh, a while ago. Michael J. Fox um, did an interview in Empire, and he came out with some sound advice, which I will impart to you. And he said, no point worrying about it, right? Because if it happens, you've done it twice. And I think, you know what? That's, uh, that's pretty good advice. And I tried to sort of tell my kids that, that, you know, they're well sort of, uh, uh, they're, they're, they're ready to deal with anything, you know? So have confidence in yourself. If that, if something happens, you can deal with it, you know? You just gotta knuckle down and get on with it. So there. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, so. I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep saying yeah. So, Michael J. Fox, you know, what a guy. Uh, I hope he's alright. It's a um, horrible disease to get, isn't it? But I, wonder, I, I do wonder, and I mean this is pure stupid speculation on my part, but he was working crazy, crazy hours when he did the first, um, the first Back to the Future. And you wonder, you know, maybe he had a, oh I don't know, it's bullshit in it really. It, yeah, I mean, <laughs> what do I know? Um, but, you know, maybe that neurologically damaged him, but maybe it's just genetics. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is the boy, the man, had brilliant comic timing. Just so good. And uh, it's a shame that his um, disease cut his career short because I think he would have been up there with the all time classic. Uh, like comedy actors and maybe even you know he would have been uh, dipping his toe in the serious stuff as well who knows I mean the uh, yeah what was it um oh gosh that it was a Brian De Palma movie and that was good he was good in that but people um, can be kind of if you're quite good-looking that can count against you in movie roles. I remember, um, remember The Hitcher, the first one. Uh, I remember I loved that film and um, I was saying to this woman who I didn't like very much <laughs> about, you know, it's really good. And she said, no, I didn't like it because the boy was too pretty. 
What a stupid, superficial thing to say. You know, it's kind of reverse. Um, uh, what do they call it? Oh, sorry, brain's not working today. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, oh, you know, I think he did a good job. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. I wish I had that problem. <laughs> I'm just too darn pretty. God. Yeah. Ugh, just rotten sometimes. I don't know. Mm. But uh, Kevin Smith was talking about all the stuff he had to put up with. He's written scripts, and he was going to get the. Um, going to do another uh, Clerks, Clerks 3, they got all the money together and then one of the actors, I mean they were just about to shoot apparently and one of the actors just pulled out and they had to scrap the whole thing and then he decided they were going to use this uh, old um, this old uh, shopping mall so he wrote another script that he thought was okay, you know, good and then he couldn't get the rights to the characters he'd written for. So he'd written this, you know, I mean, you pour your soul into stuff like that. I know it's just a stupid little script, you know, but I tell you, you know, it's got to cut deep. And he just gets on with it, you know. I mean, he's such an amazing ambassador for, um, for film. And uh, he's retweeted some of my cow cartoons. And he's, you know, he's, he's, he's a good guy. He's one of the good ones. So if you can catch Kevin Smith, do it. Do it. Do it now. Because, um, no, he's brilliant. And yeah, yeah I mean, uh, some of his, he's so articulate. Again, he's one of these guys, you think, yeah, I sound like that. And, pfft, you know, fumble to get two sentences out, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know, I wish I was. I wish I was that talented. He's so talented. Um, you know, he makes the old shitty film every now and again. Hey, who doesn't? You know, we're all trying here. You know, at least he's doing something. That's what I say. Yeah, rock on, Kevin Smith. You're my hero. Um, I'll buy you a beer one day. He stopped. Um, he stopped eating sugar. He's on a, and a, uh, yeah, to lose weight, and it's working. But he's drinking beetroot juice, I think. Um, so it's really good. Has sort of aphrodisiac qualities. <laughs> he talks about. Yeah. Um, but it's very expensive. Have you ever milked gra uh, a beetroot? I want to say grapefruit. They've got very small nipples. Um, yeah, so, anyway. Ah, so I'm drawing the grass. Do, 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 do. Drawing the grass. And... Yeah, the grass is going like that, isn't it? Hang on a sec. Let's, oh. How do I do that? I'm gonna change... Oh, there it is. It's there. It's there. It's there. Oh, stop it. I want to do that. Uh, yes. So I said... Just, there we go. Okay. Right. Yeah, earlier I was talking about... Oh, God. Is Graham Lineker? Lin, oh, God. Writer of Father Ted. And um, I think I sent him a tweet with... A, and I sent him a couple of cow cartoons. And I said um, something like, you know, do you like these? And I was thrilled that he, he sent me a, an answer. And I was like, oh, he's answered it, brilliant. And it was just one word, no. <laughs> or two words, it might be no bill, something like that. And uh, yeah. <sighs> Dear. But I've been told he can do anything he likes because he's written Father Ted, so. There you go. I'm all for encouraging people. Anyway, I did I did the bigger thing 
and I uh, I blocked him. <laughs> yeah. I took the high ground, you know, and sulked. I don't know what that achieved. It made me feel better. He lost me. If you want to do World of Cow, mate, jog on, as they say these days. Right. So, um, yeah, obviously I cheated, but you know, I haven't got a lot of time. I've got to go and play badminton. You know, I've got to keep fit. I'll tell you what, if you don't. Well, I'm 51, right? If you don't use it, you you lose it, man. You stop playing badminton or something like that for a couple of weeks, you got to start almost all over again. I mean, your fitness level's pretty high, but my God, I, I tried to run again, and I was I was struggling. Doesn't take long to get it back, a couple of weeks, but blimey. Not like in the old days. I remember I didn't do a lot and I ran up like 100 steps. I was out of breath when I was like 22 or something, but, oh dear. But that's the problem, isn't it? Um, our cells are replicating themselves over and over again. And after seven years, you're a completely different person. We're well, not completely different, but you're a photocopy of yourself seven years ago. And, uh, then you copy again, you copy again, and slowly and slowly and slowly you turn into um, a toad. But <clears throat> I don't know what my point is. Uh, yeah. Are we still the same person? I don't think, well, I think we are actually. What, what? Um, yeah, because. Um, oh. <sighs> because we have the same memories and stuff, unless we've forgotten them. So, all I'm saying is, there's a replica of you in another universe, or this universe, you're still alive. So if you die, that person, that's you, that's still you. So there. Oh, I'm talking rubbish. Anyway, right, it's been a long day, harrowing. I've had all sorts of jip. So, bleh. Right. And I had one of my cartoons turned down at Cartoon Stock. I thought it was alright. <sighs> yeah. Right, okay. So, a little shadow underneath. Just to uh, give him a bit of dimension. There we go. And... Um... So yeah, you can follow me on Patreon. Um, see more ca cow cartoons and things. Uh, there's over 400 jokes that I've put up there already that you need to pay for to see. And if you do that, you help me do more. If you like my work, if you're a fan of my work, don't look at my stuff in a magazine. Support me straight away, you know, boom. Cut out the middleman. And I think, you know, if you like artists now and they're on Patreon, go on there. Don't have to do my stuff. Support them, you know, like they're your football team. Monthly, one dollar. And I think, you know, you'll keep art alive. The art you want to see, you know. Because at some point, you know, if I, if I don't get enough money to continue, I'm gonna to have to start doing something else. And I won't be able to do this anymore, which, you know, I'll be sad about that. I don't know if you will, but, um, you know, and that, uh, that'll kill me. But there you go. Ah, dear. Right. Okay. So two cows. Ding, 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 ding. I'm just doing a shadow underneath, and they've got like greeny teeth. I don't think they should have white teeth because you know they don't. Well, they could floss, I suppose. Could do that actually. One, I've done a few jokes with um, with sheep 
these cows sort of being rotten to sheep. So yeah, one could floss with a sheep, I guess. Which might be quite funny. I might do that. Anyway, so. Uh, oh yeah. Usually, I don't always do it, but I think because we're sort of fairly close up, here's a little shadow underneath the eyes. Here we go. <sighs> right. Okay. So one saying to the other. What? Oh. I'm in T Tame's new room and we don't want that. We want uh, damaged. What do you get when you times gar guardians of the galaxy? By itself. I doubt whether Cartoon Stop will let me do this because of mentioning Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sure they got a good sense of humour in Marvel. I don't see why they shouldn't let me do it. But otherwise, you know, um, the world's too litigious. You know. I did, I did a cartoon with a pine um, air freshener on it and I had the manufacturers saying you can't do that, we'll sue you. It's like, right, fine. And I did, I did uh, this Campbell's soup, giant can of Campbell's soup with wheels on it, a little guy on top. Beautiful, I, I mean it's one of my favourite illustrations. And I asked Campbell, well, the joke was, it's a souped up car. And I, I, I thought, well, I better ask Campbell's if that's okay. No, can't do it. I thought, well, you know. <sighs> Who did, oh, God, it's gone up my head. Um, Warhol, you let Andy Warhol do it, you bastards. So you're sort of stuck. <laughs> Moan, 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 moan. Yeah, I mean, how did he get away with that? I mean, if you let him get away with it, then let, you know, snotty-nosed little cartoonists do a tiny little joke. Um, so I had to just change it to some sort of generic can of soup. Oh, fuck you. I don't know. Anyway. What you get... When you times Guardians of the Galaxy by itself, you get a square root. There you go. That's the joke I made up. <laughs> Proud of yourself, little man. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just finish this off. And I'm out of here. I'm gonna get my little shorts on. And I'll probably break my spine through trying to hit the uh, shuttlecock too hard because I've got a lot of anger issues at the moment. <sighs> God's sake. People. Can't live with them, can't live with them. <laughs> right, there we go. You get a square group. What do you get when you times Guardians of the Galaxy by itself? You get a square group. Okay. Yep. Oh God, right. I'm gonna crawl into a hole and kill myself. Um, I hope you guys are all well. Have a lovely evening. And um, if I surface tomorrow, I might be a bit busy tomorrow because I think my American job will come in and I'll be doing that all day ah dear right thanks for watching um, yeah if you want to support me please do be lovely to hear from you um, and you know I'm, I'd love to work for you so um, 
Yeah, it'd be terrific. Anyway, see you guys later. Thanks for your support.